back to another video. You guys know the deal, man. Coming at you guys with another banger. You know, I've been getting a lot of people asking me for more POVs of the single cab, so I thought it was only right. You know, I give you guys something different on this video. Give you guys some pulls, how it sounds on the highway, cruising, all that. So, you know, give you guys an idea of what it's really like to drive one of these on the daily. So you guys know it's only right. I go ahead and do that for you, but check it out, man. If you guys haven't seen the last episode, I got a radio installed, speakers, subwoofer, we did it all, so if you guys want to check out that video, it's going to be right there. But nonetheless, I thought it would be a good idea to give you guys a POV, you know, how it sounds, driving, cruising, all that. So uh, let's go ahead and do that, man. And check it out, man. Kicks of the day. Shout out to Crocs, you feel me? I'm, I'm going to need that sponsor, man. I'm going to need that sponsor, but uh, you guys know the deal, man. Let's get to it. But there you go. All that being said, let's go ahead and start it up. We'll do quiet mode for now until we get onto the highway. Can't be chopping around the cops, at least not in California. Fortunately, you guys know the deal. But uh, let's go ahead and get it, man. That's the 85 for you. See, man, first things first, gotta fill up with some E85. This thing be eating that shit up, bro. If I had a guess, this truck, this truck probably gets like seven to eight miles per gallon. Let's go ahead and fill her up. Let's see, right now, E85, 339. Not too bad. I'll take it. Go ahead, open this. A lot of people ask where I get E85, but believe it or not, here in LA, E85 is everywhere, fellas. It's like regular gas. Good to go. Yeah, like I said, about 50, 60 will fill it up. So like, it's cool, I guess, you know, just cause I don't really drive this far distances. Like if I were to go to like Oregon, Arizona, I mean, I don't know about those other states, you know, how they're, E85 system is out there, but I know California is one of the best. So if you think about it, this truck really can't even leave the state because it only runs on E85. There you have it, man. She's looking good. Gotta feed her the good stuff, man. 76 only. We are ready to go, fellas. All right, there you have it. I put about $50, cause that was about 14 gallons. And uh, yeah, pretty much almost got a full tank. So it's just right over the three fourths mark. So a full gallon probably about, yeah, 60. Yeah. It'd be hard to see my blind spots with this bucket seat cause it got me strapped in, can't really move. But if I were to go to another state, like uh, Arizona or uh, Oregon, Washington. I'm not sure how good those states are, you know, as far as having E85. But I know California, like I said, is the best. So if I want to take it anywhere, I'm gonna have to tune it on 91. The reason I didn't do it was because the guy, uh, my tuner would have had to change the vent on the car. And I didn't feel like doing all that. You guys were able to hear that or how loud that was i know with the with the valve closed it's still kind of loud at least from what i remember i don't really do that many pulls with the valve closed There's a cop right behind me just now, and he surprised me. He drove the other way. But like I said, man, if you don't really know shit about cars or anything, I mean, this looks like just any other truck. Where are you going? 
But before I go on the freeway, just want to make sure my mic's nice and secure. Looks like it is. If you guys hear that rattle, I was looking back at the footage. If you guys hear a rattle, it's going to be the cutoff valve. That's what's rattling. I mean, when you have all that pressure coming in through that exhaust, you know, it's not going to be perfect, especially when I, when I step on it. It's going to be rattling throughout the whole video. So that's, that's mainly when it's obviously when it's open, air is going right through it. So there's no rattle, but when it's closed and then, you know, I give it some gas or I do a pull, I guess it like loosens it or something. And then it starts rattling like it did earlier. But, uh, you know, I'm, I ain't really tripping about that. You know, give this a few taps and then it's good. But, uh, but yeah, man, everything's secure. Let's go ahead and do it. All right, fellas, and we are off. I'll just to let you guys know what it's like to daily a single cab, cammed, hit long tube headers, all that, you name it, man, tuned, E85. I mean, so far from my experience, it hasn't been too bad. You know, I don't drive long distances, so, I mean, I can't really say much. You know, if you're driving long distances, yeah, it's probably terrible because this shit horrible on gas. Probably six, seven miles per gallon. Gotta watch out for those bumps. I need some new bump stops. That's one thing I do need. Because, you know, since it is dropped, when I hit big bumps, that shit does hit. I don't really want to spend too much on suspension right now because, you know, down the line, I plan on doing coilovers, so there's no reason for me to get to upgrade, you know, the leaf springs and the bump stops and or get traction bars and all that shit, so it could be, yeah, it could be better, but, you know, it is what it is for the moment. A lot of people ask, you know, how's a 4L60 holding up? So far, not too shabby, man. But I say that because, you know, my 4L60 was, uh, it's not the original one, it's a low mile one. Uh, the person I bought it from told me it has like 60, 70,000 miles on it. So, I mean, it's relatively new, I guess. Haven't had any real issues yet, you know, as far as it's slipping or anything like that. But that's not an issue at all, you guys know. No, we plan on going stick shit, fellas.
check out the stability. I'm telling y'all, man, this shit handle like a sports car. This is it right here. Got another rock ice road right here. Alright, y'all ready? You gonna let it drop a gear? fellas as you can see we we're back at the cribbo done with our little little test drive daily drive i guess of the single cab of course there she is man still in one piece we didn't have anything go bad on this run i mean and you guys can see i kind of beat on it here and there definitely you can feel the heat radiating off of it um but nah man temps held well she held her own man i definitely got to say that no problems i guess you know if you could get past the gas part of things like i said not a bad daily driver at all if you don't mind the size of it of course that too yeah man like i said earlier um i do i mean i do drive it here and there i plan on getting a better daily just because gas in california is like fucking six seven dollars right now so driving this uh on e85 yeah e85 is cheaper but like i said full tank i get like 120 miles which is nothing i'm filling it up every like two three days yeah man i mean if you guys have any questions let me know in the comments man any questions or suggestions whatever it is or you guys could even let me know what other type of videos you want to see man you know more povs more mods i mean you can never go wrong with mods q a videos i don't know man let me know in the comments but yeah as far as next mod i'm gonna do for it it's probably gonna be the rotors and uh i'm also for the next video if i get to it i don't know if the next video i'm gonna do this one for those who have been with the channel for a cool little minute no we also have a Datsun truck that's pretty much what started this channel we have a Datsun 620 i think it's a 74 that my brother built he put a beams engine swap into it so we might be doing another video on that next week maybe but uh, other than that like i said next mod is gonna be these rotors because as you can see they are very rusted I'm pretty sure that they're original ones but uh yeah that's gonna be the next one and i uh, also got something nice to show you guys that relates to performance man it's gonna be a big one so make sure y'all stay tuned for that that's gonna pretty much wrap up the video though guys you guys know the deal man like comment and subscribe to the boy help me out you know motivate your boy get more content out there get a lot of dope ass videos out there but you guys know the deal man i'll see y'all in the next video